we start from? We're doing uh, carrying with Angie Fools form, and we're up to hitting Tiger left and right. So first of all, we've got to here. First move is sink your weight down onto your right heel, and your intent goes out here to the left-hand corner. Your eyes look to the left. Your head stay; it doesn't move, but your eyes look. See how, the, see how the right hand sort of stays where it is and goes like this, sort of just folds up a little bit like this. So from that position, that m position of the hands is that and that with the right hand. So they happen together. Now the right, see how the right hand's wrapping? See how the fingers are coming around like this? Let heel and toe together here, left foot. Step right around to the rear corner so that when you bring this right foot around, the front heel and the rear toe are going to be in a cardinal point line. That'll be um, east-west, I guess, yeah. Okay, so again. Now this, you've got to t pull your body around, which is really placing emphasis upon that right arm coming around like that. So you pull your body, as this hand's coming up, you're pulling your body around and then just before you get to this corner, you kick your, your, your hips back to the, to the right, which brings this right hand over, bang, in a punch. This right hand doesn't have to be in a fist at all, it can just be loose like that. They just used to tell people to do two fists because it's easier just to do two fists. There's no reason to have two fists there, it can be just be open. In breath and an out breath. So there's a lot in that movement. And now your, face, your, your fists are down here, straight down here to uh, the south, I think it is. Down to the south, yeah, it's down to the south. And see, so your feet dictate, to dictate that you should be in a stance going this way, you see? into the rear corner, but you've hooked your hips around so that your left elbow is now directly over top of your left knee. That's the rule in this one. And your hands, if you, if you, made, if you made a fist with your right hand and brought them together, they should be like this. That's where your hands should be, but that one's just open anyway. I'll do it this way. So sink. your back foot comes around when you finish the movement off. And that's an out breath. You must really, when you put your, your weight down on that front leg, because you've got your back really straight, you must really feel your weight. Now, from here, sink it down into your left heel. Don't just sort of bring it forward like that onto the ball of your foot. As soon as this hand gets more than shoulder height here, you sink, start sinking down into your front heel as you bring it around. Gives you much more power. You're sinking down into your front. So you should feel this left thigh being activated as you get around into that movement. Keeping your head dead straight, eyes looking ahead all the time. Oh well, I'll just show you um, the application for that and you'll see why you're hooking your, hooking your hips around to the other way. Come out this side, mate. So you've gone to here, he's thrown his punch with this hand, bang. Then he's thrown a punch with the other hand, so I've gone bang and chopped him into the neck there or chopped him in there. That's when you've done that movement there. Immediately you turn this hand over and chop him up into the neck, bang, really powerfully right into here, CV23. So it's gone from here, CV22, bang, straight into C. You can get, just hold your hand up there. Well, there there's this. You've chopped him there, and so there you've got, bah! But that's into, of course, into there. So we've gone, bang, bang. And as soon as I've done, oh, he's, that's, that's it. So he's thrown that punch, and I've, I've simultaneously blocked that and struck him in the neck. Then I've gone, bang, because someone's coming over here as well. So now I can take this hand straight. That's why this hand comes over here. So this hand turns around, and I lock his arm in place, step around, see I'm pulling him around, and... That's how you finish up. That well, that hand's not in a fist there, so it just has to be like that. So he wrenched his arm around, this hand's come around, and bang! Straight into him, over here like so. Okay, consequent, oh, sorry, well, um, you could also use it like this. You can start it off like this, so he's got this punch, bang, bang. That's why you've chopped him here, because you can see someone coming over here. So you can lock his arm in here, drag him around, bang, and you can take this person's uh, mark, this person's 
block over here if you wish. Just throw a right, uh, left, yeah, right will do, yeah. Bang! See, you can, you can simultaneously block that one. Bang! And you can also keep this person going, see, and just bring them both together anyway if you wished. Thank you, guys. Thank you all. So that's the application. That's why you've got to go. You go ah, this hand is going around his arm here. Still, that's why you're getting such a powerful drag.